Hey what is up everyone, I'm Gunix here and welcome back to a brand new Godot tutorial here on the channel. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually add custom mouse cursors into your Godot games. So here in this uh, textures folder I've got here in my project, um, as you can see I've got a file here called cursor smaller and this is actually a custom cursor I made for Mushi's Kitchen Reheated. So basically it's just Mushi's hat but it's a very small image, only 32 by 32, and I will tell you guys why I will be using a 32 by 32 uh, image for this tutorial. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So if we go, so if you're in your Godot project, you want to go up to where it says project, click here, then go project settings. And then uh, this will open you up to your project settings, so on the general tab, if you go down to the display tab here and then you find mouse cursor, you just go onto that and then that will open up the options here for your custom mouse cursor. So as you can see here, we do have a place here where we can open up our custom image. However, if we uh, hover over to the custom image text, as you can see here for the description, it says custom image for the mouse cursor limited to 256 by 256. So what this means is that our image size, it, can, uh, it is limited to 256 by 256 in size at its maximum uh, limit. So basically uh, that is why I'm using a 32 by 32 mouse uh, cursor size since I think that is the best image dimensions for the cursor since when I first uh, did the custom mouse cursor, right? It was a 128 by 128 image which I made, but then I realized that that was too big. So then what I decided to do was I decided to then shrink that down to 32 by 32 and that ended up being a much better image size. So if you do want to know what my recommended image size for your mouse cursor is, I definitely recommend 32 by 32 for sure. And also you can just use PNGs uh, for the custom mouse cursor. You don't have to use any other special file type. Using a PNG is totally fine since that's what I'm using for Mushi's Kitchen Reheated's custom cursor, so yeah. So anyways, when you do have your custom image ready, again, make sure that it is uh, under 256 by 256 in size. Um, what you want to do is you want to click on the folder here, go to your textures folder or wherever else you've got your custom cursor image installed, and then you just want to find it and then boom, now it is assigned. So now that we have our custom image assigned, we do have a few other things that we need to talk about here. So first up is the custom image hotspot, and you might be thinking to yourself, what is the custom image hotspot? Well, what the hotspot is, is it's basically like the part of your cursor which detects if you can click onto something or not. So, let, so if it's set to 0 by 0 uh, on the x and y values, what that means is that the top left of your mouse cursor image is the hotspot. Now, because I have a 32 by 32 image here, and because of the way my cursor is, um, basically, if I set my hotspot to 16 by 16, that will mean that the hotspot of my cursor is now in the middle of the image, and that's how I want it to be for my cursor. So let's say, for example, you have a cursor which is a different size, like 64 by 64, right? Uh, if you want your uh, cursor's hotspot to be in the middle of your image, that means you would need to do 32 by 32 because that, I'm pretty sure, would be the middle of a 64 by 64 image. So yeah, so since I'm using a 32 by 32 image, I'm going to be setting my custom image hotspot to 16 by 16, since that is the middle of the cursor. So do remember that 0 by 0 is the top left of your cursor image. And then we have the tool tip position offset. So what I'm pretty sure that refers to is, let's say for example I hover over this, right? You know how um, this little description here pops up when I hover over something? I'm pretty sure that is the tooltip. So I'm pretty sure what the tooltip is for, um, the tooltip offset is for, is it's basically to offset where, you know, tooltips show up next to your cursor when you do hover over something. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what the uh, tooltip is for. So overall, uh, that's all the stuff you need to know about when it comes to setting your custom cursor image. Do make sure that your customer cursor's image is no more than 256 by 256 in size. And uh, yeah, I do recommend using 32 by 32 since that's just the best size for it personally, in my opinion. But anyways, once you've got all that done now, if we close and then save that, 
we go to actually test our game, as you can see, our custom cursor now, now appears on the screen. And so yeah, that is how you do a custom cursor in Godot. So overall guys, if you did enjoy this tutorial, be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more. And if you do want more tutorials like this, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, I'll see you all next time. Hopefully this tutorial worked for you guys. See you all next time. Bye bye.